Welcome, this is the next video in my series on the FL Sun Q5 printer. And in this video, I'll be swapping out the filament. So I'm new to 3D printing, so this is my first time doing this, so I'm doing it from that perspective. Hopefully it helps people. And if you do find this video helpful, I'll put a link in the description to this 3D printer and this filament. And if you use those links, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So I got this filament on Amazon, it's Sun Lu. It is 1.75 millimeters. And the printing temp is 200 to 230. This is just PLA. So it came in this vacuum bag. I'll open it up. So you want to keep your PLA filament dry. So it comes with a desiccant pack. And I have a Ziploc bag here ready, or a hefty bag. So I'll put the desiccant in there. And I tried to put this in earlier with the shrink wrap on it. And it didn't quite it barely fits. See, it's fitting here, but it tore it open a little bit. So I may look for a different brand to store this in. So when you store it, you want to store it in a bag with some desiccant to keep it dry. If you don't have desiccant, at least putting it in a bag will be better than nothing. It also came with this little card. It says, to prevent tangling, please insert tip of filament into this card's hole. I don't know if that means for storage or during usage. Okay, so the filament starts right here. There's a little hole in the side that you can feed the filament through so it doesn't unwind. So I'm going to keep tension on this because I don't want this to unravel like it's starting to do right now. <laughs> so right now my printer has the filament that came with it loaded into it. So I'm going to attempt to exchange it with this filament. So we'll go through that procedure. So we'll switch over to the printer now and we'll take a look at that. So I have the filament that came with it coiled on here. I'm just going to show how this will fit on here, like so. And then you want the filament going this way because the extruder is over here. I don't know if it's wound the right way or not, but I'll switch it if I need to. So now I'm going to go into the interface and we'll take a look at that. Okay, so I've turned the printer on. We want to go to Tool and then Change and I want to unload. So I'll hit unload. And it says heating up the nozzle, please wait. And it says we're at 23 of 190. So while that's heating up, I'll talk about the new spool. I have the filament here, and to put it in the extruder, I want to clip the end here. And I clipped it one way when I first did it, but I've noticed other people clip it twice. So it comes to a point. So there's a more of a bevel. I have a little bit of point there. It's kind of hard to focus on the camera. But I will be cutting off this bent section before I cut it to go inside the printer. Okay, so it says heat completed. Please click confirm for start unloading. So I'll hit confirm. Okay, and now it's backing out the filament. And an interesting thing here, I noticed that the filament is broken. You can kind of see towards the top of the screen there. Hmm. I don't know if that just happened or if it happened earlier. Okay, so let's turn this around here. So we're at the top of the extruder. So I'm going to pull this out like this. Okay, and I feel it's stuck right there. There's a blob on the end. So what I'm going to do is pull out this retaining clip at the bottom. I don't know if you need to have this in there all the time or not, but I'll press up on this black and I'll pull the tube out. Okay, you can see a little filament there. I'll pinch this and I'll press through so it comes out the other end. I'll take my clippers and I'll clip that off. Now I can remove it, and I'll put this tube back in here. I'll press it all the way in, and I'll put the clip back on. Okay, so it says unload filament completed. Click confirm for return. I'll hit return. So now I want to load, and I don't know if I should load it ahead of time. I think I'm going to do that.
Okay, so I've clipped a little point on here. It's probably hard to see. And then I'll also straighten this out. So you can just kind of bend it with your fingers until it's somewhat straight. That's a problem I had when I loaded the original filament. So I'm going to stick it down through here and I'll pull this back. And I want to make sure it's lined up and I'm just going to start feeding it in. I'll, I'll leave it at that. So I'll go back to the control now. Now hit load. So it's going to heat up the nozzle again. Okay, so it says heat completed. Please load filament to extruder and click confirm for start loading. So I loaded it at the top of that. So I will hit confirm. I'm going to lower this down so we can see the nozzle and then I'll hit confirm. So it says is loading, please wait. It says load filament completed, click confirm for return. So it didn't squirt anything out, so I'm going to run that again. So like I said, I'm new to this. Uh, this is a little confusing. I'm going to try load again. We'll see what that does. Okay, I was looking at the extruder and it wasn't going down at all, so something is stuck. So I'm going to pull that apart and start it over and go from there. So the printing temp of this filament is 200 and it's saying it's going to heat it to 190, so it may not be melting that filament. So I'm going to I'm going to go to preheat and then bump the temperature up to 200. And then I'll see if I can push that filament through. Okay, now it's coming through. So we're switching from white to black. I'll switch over to the load and see if I can get that to work now. Okay, so it squirted out a bunch of black filament, so it looks like it's ready to print from now. So I was able to unload it with the menu settings on the printer, but the load didn't seem to work for me. I just preheated it and then I was able to do the load. Okay, so I printed this nut and bolt with the filament. I did one of those previously in white, so I'll pop these off of here. So here are the two parts. Let's see if these go together. Now there was a slight bit of stringiness in this at the very beginning, but towards the end I don't see any. So these did stick pretty good to this. I use alcohol to help release it, but someone left a uh, comment on a previous video that I may need to adjust the height of that first layer, and I haven't got around to doing that yet. But let's thread these together. It's a little rough, but this was too when I first printed it, but now it I mean, it's very loose. It loosened up after I used it a couple times. So I imagine this will loosen up also. I don't know if you can see any difference here, but they seem about the same. So, sorry hardware store, I can print my own nuts and bolts now. Okay, so that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions or if you have any suggestions, please leave those in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.